Hey guys, Julie Coster. Um, I'm going to show you how to link up your CentShare with your Facebook um, groups so that you can post from CentShare. Um, so I'm creating a demo group right now. You click this little waffle menu here and click to group and then um, I selected um, private and visible and then I started it. So I haven't added anything else to it. I've just created the group. What I am going to do is go down to group settings and then you're going to scroll to the bottom and you're going to click apps and then right underneath this line uh, at the bottom it's got a blue button that says add apps and i'm going to add send share you're just going to click it and click add and i'm also going to add my um sorry about that my linked page um which is my ruby ribbon um business page and i'm going to link that because that's what i used to post and then we're all set in here. So now I'm going to go over to CentShare. So once you have your CentShare account, I log in using my Facebook because I only post my CentShare um, to my Facebook. So I click log in with Facebook. And then you're going to click up here, this little circle with these dashes in it. And we're going to refresh. And this is going to find our group. Now I've already done it. So this wasn't here before but it is now so here it is it's just showing up if you want to get rid of something um, you don't want it to be in there you can if it's got this little um, like lightning bolt in it that means that SendShare is not hooked up to this party so it cannot post to it um, if it's a whole heart SendShare is hooked up but as you can see i'm not posting in it right now if i click it and it's black that means i can post to it but if it's not lit up like these I cannot post to it so right now my demo group is just as it needs to be right I've got my my heart blackened and I've got the eyeball so I can see it so let's go and look at how you create a post first so you can either um, you put in uh, information here look at these amazing gammies blah, 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 right then we can click picture and I can upload from my um, here I'll do Christmas pics I'll do my grandson how's that because that's cute or my kids there and then I can click open I think is it not gonna let me here we go. select well, we'll just take it with all three of them open there it goes all right so it is uploading in here now so once it's uploaded I can click update post Like that and then I've got look at these amazing camis even though that's not a cami that's my daughter her husband and my little grandbaby um, so it's here that's what I want it to do <clears throat> and I'm going to I can I, do two things at this point I can either put it in a folder to save it or I can schedule the post now if I'm scheduling the post I need to put it in a group well over here's all the groups that are hooked up that I have running right now so the demo group is the one I'm gonna put it in I'm gonna put it in right now and I've got it scheduled for 333 and I'm just going to go ahead and click schedule post it failed to schedule and let's see why if we have oh it's because of the time it's too close to the time so let's put it at 34 we'll do it at 34 schedule post boom there it went so now it's scheduled for 334 in the demo group and we'll go over and look at that later another thing that you can do is you can put a YouTube link in here if you have a video that you'd like to link to and you can click that right and there it is that's the cami overview video and i can type in here cami overview and then i can schedule it like i said i've got it in demo group right now and i can schedule it for later or i can have it go in right now or i can save it in one of my folders that i already have so i'm going to go ahead and schedule it into that party. The next thing that you can do is this button right here. Everything that you have um, saved and you know worked on, all the different you know these are all the different party bashes that I have. Um, they're all going to be up here in separate folders that I have separated. And I've got um, I give this folder to my new stylist so that they've got. Uh, 12 days of posts all ready to go. I give uh, the Ruby Ribbon videos to many stylists. This is my YouTube channel. It's got all of the videos that I've made and they can use that um, in their shows if they'd like or just watch them to learn how to make their own. Um, and then, you know, there's just lots of different places that you can um, add stuff. But that's if I'm scheduling a party here, say I'm doing my 12 day party, I'm going to go to post one. I'm going to select them all. And then I'm going to click batch post. 
Now, I know I want it to go in my demo group. That's the party that I'm scheduling for, but I want it to start tomorrow at 8 in the morning, okay? So I'm going to change this to 8 a.m., and then I am going to 8 a.m., change that to a.m. and make sure it's in the morning. We're in the demo group, and I'm going to have them go every, I don't know, let's see what 95 minutes does. Because I want them to start, stop by like 10 o'clock. So we're stopping at 125 in the morning. I do not want to post that late. Let's see where 80 gets us. 1040, let's go a little bit less. Why don't we do 73? That's 930. I bet 75 would get us right to about 10 o'clock, which would be perfect. 945, close enough. All right, so I'm going to do these 75 minutes apart, starting at 8 a.m., and they will end at 945. So all of these posts are scheduled for January 31st at 8 a.m. They will post every 75 minutes um, and stop at 945. And then I would just click Schedule Batch. Well, if I'm not, if I want to schedule a whole week, maybe I've scheduled one for the 31st, the 1st, the 2nd, so now I'm on day three, I'm going to go to February, right? And we're going to schedule it on February 2nd in the demo group at 8 a.m. We're going to apply the interval to make sure the date changes. And now I've got that whole list and I'm just going to schedule it because that group is a group that doesn't matter. Um, and then let me see. All right, I'm going to go to the demo group now, and I'm going to try, let me see if I can move this over a little, because I see that I have a message in there. I can't move it far. All right, hopefully I don't have to redo this. Let me get rid of this message quick. Here we go. Oh, it's just videos. We're good. <laughs> I never know what anybody's saying. Okay, so let's go back to the home page, and I'm going to move, oops, I'm going to move this back over. Um, we'll go to home in our demo group. Now look, remember I had scheduled from SendShare with my business account to post at 34, right? Well, it's 36 and here it is. Look at these amazing camis. And then there's my daughter, my son-in-law, my grandbaby. Um, and there is the video that we posted two minutes ago. We scheduled a video to post. And that is how we um, hook it up in order to do that. So I hope this was helpful for you. I hope that you understood um, like a, a mini lesson of it. Um, just the one thing that I will say is always make sure that you come to this button after you have linked it to SendShare and then click refresh so that it brings in any new um, shows that you've linked up because you can't you can't connect to it unless you have it in here. And the other thing is make sure that you know how to create a new post um, which is in here. You'll add your information up here, your caption, your picture, or your link to a video, or you can upload a video in here as well if it's not linked in. Um, uh, YouTube or Vimeo or something like that. And then you'll select where it's going or whether you're scheduling it or um, saving it. And you just need to put it where you want it if you're going to schedule it to post. So I hope this was helpful for you. Bye-bye.